Christmas market behind me. Hey guys, and welcome back to Puddle Fest and to another episode of uh, It's Another Effing Christmas Market, which no one really wants to go to because if you've been to any Christmas market in Europe in the last 10 years, you'll know that it all looks the same because everything's made in China and it's slowly wiping away traditional cultures. So instead, I'm turning today into an episode of let's go looking for some really good bread and desserts and something that maybe regular local people go to when they don't want to go to a Christmas market. And so, join me. So having escaped the Christmas market, I'm currently in Pest. I need to get over to Buddha. Alright folks, I would love to be less enthusiastic about this, but I just cannot help myself. We are going to the Mecca of carbs. They're gonna have some cake and bread and more cake. So Norma Grand is the bigger brother version of Norma, which is over in Pesh Side, which opened a few years ago. Uh, whereas this Norma just opened this past summer and it is a mega hit because it's got a terrace and you can sit outside in the summer. And this is the first Christmas they're doing and I'm really looking forward to what is in there. So we've gotta go get us some Christmas spirit, local style. So as you can see, this place has a really great buzz, even in the middle of a pandemic. But the other thing that I really like about it is that it, it actually brings together Nordic style baking with Hungarian style baking. Even their name, Norma, is a combination of Nordic and Magyar, so Nordic and Hungarian. So it's not just bringing in one thing and forgetting about another, but trying to combine them. And I think they really nail this because they do have very Nordic Scandi baking things like Tebirks and cardamom knots and danishes. Um, and then of course they've got croissants as well. But during holidays like now, they'll have something really traditional like bagleys, which are Christmas logs. And so you'll see they're rolled up inside with either poppy seed or walnut. And this is something that you'll see pretty much on an every Hungarian table at Christmas. It's just people make it at home, people buy it. This, this time of year, all the bakeries are filled with them. You pre-order them. So they are absolutely 100% authentic Hungarian Christmas food. They have a little see-through kitchen here and you can see them making it. But this guy's actually rolling up the filling into a perfect little square so they can put it into a perfect little dough square on that table behind them and then roll it up, rest them like you see here, coat them with a little bit of egg yellow, pop them into the oven, and then they look like this. They're actually really nice, not too sweet, and flavored usually with cinnamon, cloves, oftentimes some kind of citrus fruit like orange peel, lemon zest, lemon juice. They don't dry out very easily, but quite frankly, they usually don't stick around long enough to dry out. So I promised you bread, and before we get to the cakes, I just wanna give you a sneak peek in my Mary Poppins bag of baked goods at the Norma Standard Sourdough Loaf, which has all the right consistency for sourdough, crackly on the outside, nice crumb on the inside, and it'll stand up to your butters, to your sandwich toppings, to whatever you wanna do with it. It's great next to stew. It's just one of those delicious, tangy sourdough breads that you need in your life. And this is a brioche loaf, so sweeter, a little thicker consistency on the inside. It's amazing with butter, jam, honey, or if it goes a bit dry or you want to freeze it, it makes amazing pan the next day. Oh. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, the cakes. And while I want to say that these are 100% completely and authentically Christmas cakes, I can't say that. But they do have a touch of the Christmas about them in that contemporary deconstructed cake kind of way. And you gotta love these little red currants, like Christmas decorations on top of that beetroot brownie cupcake. Tell me these cream cheese frostings do not look like a smattering of snow on these delicious cakes. Now that is a chestnut brownie. Sounds weird, delicious. Chestnuts, big Hungarian flavor. Love it, very fall, very seasonal. Carrot cake looking appropriately deconstructed and just a touch messy. And this is a twice baked chocolate cake and gluten-free, so something for everyone. But I love this tropical cake because it's got that green and red on top, which screams Christmas, but you just know that that coconut and mango is gonna be totally the antithesis of what you would expect at Christmas, which is what makes it great. But this, this, I've gotta try. This is a ginger cake with lime, cream cheese frosting, plum, and a few sprigs of rosemary. Just looks like little fir tree bits fallen on freshly fallen snow. Looks like Christmas on top of that cake. So I've got to try that next. That's, we're doing that right now. All right, not gonna really know how that tastes until I take my mask off. this little sprig of rosemary here, which seems out of place because I always associate it with savory foods. And I think it's actually got a missed calling for being on top of sweet things. This cake is what carrot cake would taste like if carrot cake didn't have carrots in it, but had ginger instead. It's like warm and spicy with cinnamon, allspice, fresh ginger. What really gives it a kick is the cream cheese frosting with lime zest and lime juice in it. So it's tangy and these plums are fruity tangy in a non-citrus way so I'm just gonna keep on eating well folks on this delicious note I just want to remind you if you are in Budapest at Christmas and if you're not you should be then come to Norma and check out all their tasty delicacies in the meantime if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like subscribe and ring that bell so family and friends I can stop sending you emails and texts about it and you can see it here instead so you never miss another episode of another episode of thanks for watching